uh, supermassive black holes undergo cycles of high activity, becoming active galactic nuclei. Uh, the nuclei of active galaxies are the most powerful long-lived sources of radiation in the universe. They often outshine the host galaxy in which they reside and are able to eject outflows or jets of relativistic plasma that emit all the way uh, from radio waves to the highest energetic gamma rays. To understand the mechanisms that govern active galactic nuclei, we have to go down to parsec or subparsec scales where a central engine formed by the supermassive black hole and the surrounding accretion disk produces uh, helical magnetic fields in which jets are thought to originate. See the jets coming out of this uh, active galactic nuclei here. Uh, the exact role of the magnetic field and its structure, the composition dynamics of the ejected jets, as well as the feedback effect of the jets on the gas and dust that surrounds the central engine are, however, still far from understood. Um, at present, the conventional model, conventional models uh, cannot very well account for what they're seeing, what's being described here. Uh, and so that's, uh, you know, so it's, it's coming to light that, that you have this feedback feed forward dynamic and the active galactic nuclei is shaping the galaxy. It's uh, acting as a galactic engine. Uh, but the dynamics underlying that are not really understood. What's regulating the inflow of material into the accretion disk? What is regulating periods of activity and quiescence? Um, what, what is regulating uh, the, the amount of material that's being emitted into the galaxy and triggering new star formation and these kind of things? Uh, these, these are all at present kind of open questions. But uh you know dynamics that we uh can that we just uh, explain and one of the key pieces in explaining that is understanding uh the uh Planck plasma the quantum vacuum energy density um and we'll get it discuss that a little bit in uh, the conclusion here uh but um you know it's it's just seeing that uh something turns on these supermassive black holes uh, and they become these active galactic nuclei and it's just the most uh, energetic events um, occurring in the universe but probably the only thing on par is uh, supernova supernovae uh, and uh, you know some of these images that are being uh, gathered are just truly uh, spectacular of uh, you know, th th this is showing the emission jets coming from this supermassive black hole in this particular galaxy. So the cycles of high activity of the active galactic nuclei shape the host galaxy, um, and uh, these extant galactic structures are clear evidence of extremely high energy massive events yet astrophysicists are trying to explain them or were trying to explain them via purely stellar processes uh so um th and th this particular one these, these are called the fermi lobes uh detected in our own milky way galaxy uh and um uh th there was a, a study published fairly recently on uh, these huge galactic structures uh, emitted, thought to be emitted by our supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, uh, and that they were emitted relatively recently, uh, something like in the last uh, 250 million years. So our own supermassive black hole was undergoing this active galactic nuclei phase uh, fairly recently. Um, new modeling and simulation results uh, published in Nature Astrophysics this past spring have shown that uh, the giant lobes uh, here uh, formed within uh, 2.6 million years, uh, far too quickly to be explained by stellar feedback. Uh, the feedback mechanism must involve the central supermassive black hole, not stellar processes, as was attempting to be described. Um, it, it, 
th- th- this, these are formed via what's called active galactic nuclei feedback, AGN feedback. Uh, yeah, I think I said 250 million years, 2.6 million years ago, uh, th- these formed. So relatively recently, Two, 250 million years would be uh, quite a long time ago, actually. <laughs> uh, what these observations show is the key importance of feedback feedforward processes, uh, a dynamic that we have discussed the significance of in great detail. Uh, for instance, in uh, our paper, the Unified Space Memory Network. Uh, 